Hello there. This video will go over the various customizations that you as the merchant are able to make for the loyalty widget in your store. When you first download App Store Loyalty onto your store, you will get a warning to enable the app embed on your dashboard. Click the Enable button to be taken to your store's app embed section where you can toggle the application on. We have a dedicated section for customizations in the dashboard, widget settings, and even provide default headers, descriptors, FAQs, etc. But if you believe something more custom will suit your store better, you can adjust the settings in the various tabs in this section. First, there's Widget Settings. Make sure that the widget is visible by toggling this checkbox on. Then there's the field for the widget title, which in a store, pertains to the wording on the small widget header that your customers will see here. Then finally, there's Widget Position, which configures the widget to either show on the bottom right or bottom left depending on your selection. If you need to change the default labels of the widget, it can be done in the next section, Widget Labels. The various labels of the Loyalty widget are divided into four different categories. They will not necessarily be able to see all of the labels listed here at once, as some are there by default, while others need specific conditions to show. One such example of the latter is the Card Action label, which lets a customer know that they need to sign into an account on your store to be able to view their rewards. Widget Home labels are what will be immediately visible to customers when the widget is selected and expanded. You can think of this as a customer greeting, so try customizing these headers to make them feel welcome and give them a good first impression of your loyalty program. Next is the Point Earn Labels section, which controls for the Ways to Earn tab in the Loyalty widget here. All of the different ways of earning points that you configure will be visible to your customers in this section, and you can change the labels visible here. You may see some of the labels having birthday in them, meaning they will only show if you happen to configure a birthday rule in the Activity Rules section. Point Redeem labels are visible in the Ways to Redeem section here. The header will always display in this section, but the other two, Redeem Action Label and Empty Redeem Rules Label, will only be visible when there are sufficient points to redeem a reward and when there are no redeem rules set respectively. The final section, Reward Details Labels, contains customer-facing labels that deal with rewards customers have access to, as well as any coupons or discounts that they can take advantage of. Appearance is self-explanatory. This section controls the color scheme of different elements of the widget. Our widget has base styling for various Shopify themes, but if you feel a different color scheme would better suit your store, feel free to adjust the colors here. Here's a small sample of what the changes will look like in your store once the settings have been saved. Custom CSS also handles customizations, but with significantly more technical requirements. If you or a developer that you have working for you is knowledgeable about CSS, this section will be useful if you wish to make more complex customizations for the widget. Or you can even reach out to our support team if you need custom CSS changes as well. And finally, there's the FAQ or Frequently Asked Questions section. If you find that your customers have questions regarding your loyalty program, how they can earn or redeem points, etc., an FAQ section can be helpful to have for them to reference. Like with the other sections we have looked at so far, there are some basic questions and answers already set, and you can update them to best suit your store's needs. When you are finished with your widget customizations, click Update in the upper right-hand corner. Be aware that it may take a few moments for the changes to register in your store. Now go to your store and click to view the widget to see the changes you have made. I hope this helps. If you have any other questions, feel free to let us know. Thank you and have a nice day.